Okay, I'm going to measure Colby for a dog on wheels part. Just gonna show you how I'm gonna do these measurements on my own if needed. All right. So you can see Colby can stand. So I'm going to have him stand over my legs for support. And then I'm just gonna use my leg here to block him. All right, so my first measure is, I know, not gonna be worried about his spine flexing right now. Kobe has a lot to say. He always has, even when he was younger. All right, so I'm gonna look at his height. So if his back legs are crouching down, I'm gonna use some sort of level. Um, and he's standing pretty well right now. If he was crouching, I would use my leg to support him. I'm gonna put something, a ruler, whichever, across the top of his back and measure from there to the ground. 13 and a half, 13 and a half inches. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the shoulder height. Just above, just above the shoulder blades or the withers. And that's actually 13 inches, a little bit lower. All right, step three is the length here. Woo from the uh, Kobe's butt all the way to the back of his front legs. I'm gonna use my tape measure here. <laughs> Hold him still. So if I had two hands, I'd probably back him up to the wall. Well then I'm gonna straighten him out first. Here we go kiddo, it's okay. So I'm using my leg here to make sure he's standing tall, but I'm gonna straighten him out, which you can't see like that. I'm gonna give him another cookie, because he's being a good boy. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna measure from the, just behind his front leg to the end of his butt end of his bum, which is 17 and a half inches. Okay, our next measurement is where you need softer tape measure. Pull it out so you've got lots of tape, me tape to work with. We're gonna measure around the biggest part of Kobe's chest, the deepest part of Kobe's chest, which is where the harness is gonna be for the front wheelchair. Or sorry, the front part of the wheelchair. So I got him with my legs. And if you want, you can take it on. Inhale. That's 21 and a half inches. Okay, that was step four. Step five is the same thing. We're going to go as high up in the thigh as we can and measure our girth. So Kobe is, and we're pulling it taut but not tight, 10 and a half inches. All right, that was step five. Step six is our width of the hips. So if you have calipers, if you can make something like this, that's great. Event professionals might have this people at home you probably don't so all right hold on so we're measuring how far apart the back legs or um not how far apart what's the width at the hips and now i'm gonna measure that's five and a half inches and the shoulders i expect to be a tiny bit wider just at the shoulders there now I'm gonna measure my caliper. That's six inches. Thank you. I'll show you alternatives in a second. And our last step for a rear wheel cart is the girth of the waist. 
Just hang on the back legs. All right. Hang in there, Kobe. And that is 15 and a half inches. All right. So, if I was by myself, and I don't have fancy calibers, what I would do is back, have, um, sorry, hold on, kiddo. Have this be a wall right here, or either side. Use one of my hands. And I would measure the distance from the, my hand, my hands to the wall. I'll try and show that in another video. All right, but those are Kobe's measurements. And Kobe weighs, we need to know his weight. Kobe's license weighs. <laughs> Kobe, off you go.